Hello my friends, it's Bruins here and welcome back to the channel and today we're going to be talking about all objectives in the slaughterhouse of Texas Chainsaw Massacre. How to do them and more importantly, what are the best tactics when going for those exits. And these tactics, mind you, are mainly if you are doing solo queue. A lot of these will not apply if you are in a team comp, so just bear that in mind. If you're new, consider subscribing, joining the channel and dropping a like to support more content like this. So quick recap. In all maps, you have all four same objectives. You've got a generator powering an exit gate. You've got a car battery powering another exit gate. You've got a basement exit powered by a fuse box. And you've got a valve pressure gate exit powered by a pressure pump. I will be telling you how many lock picks you'll need to access each exit, but bear in mind that if the cook is in the map, all of that could change. Remember, if the generator has been switched off, everyone gets their audible notification. If the valve gets switched on, you all hear the noise. If the basement exit gets powered up and open, everyone sees the highlight of the exit. And the only exit that is completely quiet is the car battery. Also, if families are on you and they start camping the exit you're at, try and move on to another objective. Good family players will never leave because they know you're about. The difficult bit is abandoning objective without being seen. Still, that might be your best option if you want to make an escape. Use wells. I'm gonna drop in the description the map with all locations and everything you can collect and trigger in the slaughterhouse. Generator. This exit is always the same on this map, nothing changes whatsoever. To counter this, to get to the generator exit, you need to go through four lockpicks. One on basement, one on facility entrance, one on facility exit, and one on exit gate. That's a lot. Which is why I think Connie comes very handy on this map. She can negate at least two of those locks by timing the use of her ability. Also remember that if Hitchhiker is on the map, you might want to have some bone scraps with you in case it has laid some traps. The best entrance to the facility is the one near the garage, as you've got the best cover in there. If all goes south, you've got a garage to fall back to. Just be careful because Hitchhiker likes to put a trap on the other side of this narrow gap. Also, Cook is likely to padlock this way if he's in game. The other entrance is okay and you've got the well nearby which can also save you if you're spotted. Inside the facility, you have a well to drop into in case you need to fall back. You can also find in here a fuse for the fuse box. Once you're through all the way, then it's the same strat. Do the lock first on the exit gate, kick the gen after and then show yourself to grandpa if teammates are on the map still. Mine the well in the area near the exit to the facility in case you need to fall back. Car battery. Same here. You need four lockpicks to get out as you go through the slaughterhouse itself. This is usually my go-to exit as it's furthest away from grandpa. But once family sees you've done the first lock, then they might shut this down by camping this exit. The best way in is through the far end of the map. And if you need to fall back, you have a well inside the slaughterhouse and you can also go back to the holding pen. Going that way will also allow you to check if the valve is by the far end of the slaughterhouse or by the holding pen, and also if the fuse box is by the slaughterhouse. And you also have a fuse on the right side of the slaughterhouse near the well. It is worth remembering, if you run out of lockpicks, there are always two boxes in all of these locations, both inside the slaughterhouse, facility, and also on the outside areas. Once you're through to loading dock where car battery is, watch out for the chickens. So the lockpick first, and then the car battery. You got a well in there if you get caught in the act and need to do a reset. Once everything is open and you're ready to go, one thing I always like to do is kill a nearby chicken for the XP points. Basement exit. This is not as safe of an exit as in the family house, but it's still a very strong exit. The fuse boxes can be in awkward locations, however. If it is behind the main building by the courtyard, I would desist, unless the family is really not nearby. Because grandpa is normally around, if they are doing blood runs, then you're likely to be spotted. If the fuse box is by the facility or the slaughterhouse exterior, then it's a different story. You're very likely to get a safe passage once you open the exit, provided the family members don't get there first to body block you. The best way to the exit is down the basement exit via holding pen. Once you're there, simply go straight through the narrow passage in front and then go left to exit. This could also be used as a distraction if you want to continue to push through the slaughterhouse or facility exits. And it could also serve as a way to help your teammates escape. You should keep family busy anyway so that you can do another one or two lock picks or even farm some XP. Valve and Pump. This is the most used exit in this map and you can really throw off family members. All valves are located in the main ground level areas of the map and the pumps will always be located back in the basement, more specifically in Leatherface's lair, pump storage or furnace. 
I would also leave down the description the link for the slaughterhouse basement map so you can hopefully find your way. A tactic many people will use here is to open the valve, wait for family to come by, stab them to buy you time, and then go to the exit once the valve is fully open. Also remember that it takes 10 seconds for the family members to switch off the valve. However, it doesn't reset down to zero. If you switch it back on straight away again, then the dial of the valve will continue from where it stopped going down after it was switched off by the family member. So worth trying to open it again straight after the family has switched it off, as long as you're safe and there are no traps or poison on it. This exit can also work as a distraction to help you continue through the other exits. And the location of the valve exit is by way windmill north to the courtyard. And that's pretty much it guys, I will be leaving the link for the map of the slaughterhouse in the description so that you can see where the valve locations are and where the exits are. Please do let me know what taxes do you mostly use when doing the objectives down in the comments, I would love to hear them. I hope this was helpful, please remember to subscribe, join and drop me a like to support more content like this. Thank you for watching and I will see you all next time.